ever shed tears over your hair. Not literally over the top of your hair, but because of your haircut. According to the papers, Hollywood actress Kerry Mulligan cries tears of frustration over hers after suffering extensive damage to her locks due to overprocessing caused by preparation for her film roles. She's apparently decided to take a supplement, which is said to improve the health of her hair. In today's Express, Vanessa Feltz has said that Kerry shouldn't worry too much as it's her boyish crop which distinguishes her from the abundantly tressed actresses and in fact experts drool over her exposed neck and ears <laughs> <That's> horrible <laughs> so have you have you ever cried because of a haircut denise or over your hair well there's no wrong with a boyish crop is there no but, <laughs> and sadly nobody's drooling over my neck and ears but i have cried before years ago when i was um probably about 21 or 22 um, I was going to America for the first time and with, with a girlfriend of mine from drama school and I'd kind of done that thing where you'd hennaed your hair, then you'd bleached it, then you'd put, got done it back to dark because I'm naturally quite dark, although I'm sure that you'd think that I'm a natural blonde. And um, <laughs> anyway, I went to the hairdressers and they said, we can't perm your hair, I wanted a perm. You know, everyone was having those sort of curly perm things. They said, we don't want to perm it, you'll have to sign a disclaimer because we say it's too porous. And I went, oh, it'll be fine. So I signed this disclaimer. They did the perm and it looked fabulous in the salon. And then as I went outside, I started to turn into Tito Jackson. And it just was absolutely, absolutely like that out one of the Jackson Five. And I was devastated, especially because I was really fat at the time and my girlfriend had fab hair and was really thin and then the only other time I've probably cried is that my dad randomly had a couple of hairdressing salons for a very short lived period of time and Debbie and I my sister who's younger than me were going I was about 10 we're going to this wedding dressed in our same outfits that mum always dressed us in and mum had us like done a shampoo and set so we looked like sort of Margaret Thatcher age 10 <laughs> with these rock hairstyles and I remember being absolutely horrified then but that's probably the only that's why I've decided to keep mine short so I can't have too many traumas I just can't now. believe you voluntarily wanted a perm because I used to come home and there well, it would be in, sitting on the kitchen you. table the home perm yeah. kit and that's when I used to cry mom please don't perm my hair since found out it's actually a really cheap chastity belt because no boys came near me <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was all about I cried the other day on the show, you know, we were doing the thing about uh, Russell Grant's predictions he was from last year. Right. And they were showing the VT of him, and I looked at it, and I, my hair was all like all nice and blonde and and like all brushed. And <laughs> why don't you? Push and I it looked then? at and I looked at I caught a glimpse of myself now because the thing is, and I, I thought, oh no, my hair looks shocking. I couldn't listen to what he was saying. I had no idea what was going on in that conversation. <laughs> but because I've been trying to grow it out, you see, because it's been dyed so much, it's really dry. Oh, you've got no so, grey. No, that's the good news. I haven't got any grey hair. Look, I'm 50 years old and I've got no grey hair, which is really good. But I have to say, this afternoon I'm going to see my beautiful hairdresser Andre, and tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm getting. No, I'm not in tomorrow, am I? Thursday, I'll be in looking like Denise. Ooh, You're having it like this. Really? You're not having it. You just blonded up. What about? No, I'm not having a June Whitfield. <laughs> <laughs> You mentioned, I mentioned my lease, so I love my hair. I'm going um, black again. What I was going to say, again, I mean. Silla, when I came to yours and you said, oh, I've just, I'm, I'm having a real paddy because I've not been able to find me ginger twist. Yeah, I, yeah, that's the colour of my colour. She does it herself with ginger twist? I do, I love fiddling with me. I do, I love fiddling with anybody else's hair too. <gasps> just imagine how much money you've saved doing your own hair all for all those years. Well, and just think how much time yeah. I've yeah. saved. Uh, that's the only thing why I started doing it, really. Because yeah. I hated s spending that much time in the hairdressers, having me roots done. But you've got streaks and everything. How that's do you do I that? do them as well. <gasps> You're yeah, good. With me chin, ginger that's twist. That's twist your ginger <laughs> twist, isn't And it? I can't find it, and I'm going to Barbados this week, and I need three packs of ginger <laughs> twists. So there's anybody <laughs> out there <laughs> who's got a spur ginger What colour is your hair, your own hair? Well, it's just like yours, fur. It's fur. <laughs> <laughs> That's just nothing. That's just feral. Yeah. yeah. But um, so it's I thought, always thought you were a natural redhead. No, redhead. no, all out of a bottle. In fact, when I was pregnant with our rubbish, well, with our Jack actually, um, I thought because he came out a redhead, a natural redhead. How did that happen? I don't know. I thought it was all the dye <laughs> and the news on the air that gone through me veins. <laughs> <onto> the... <laughs> I really did. <laughs> ginger. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh, that really made me laugh. Right, it's complicated.